What's up everybody, Recording Artist J Von D here, going to be showing you a really quick real-time tutorial on how to stream uh, your audio content to other people over the internet. Today we're going to be using Shoutcast MP3 streaming technology, which uh, is probably one of the most reliable and uh, best streaming technologies I've ever used. Uh, it's never let me down, so uh, let's get started here. Today we're going to be using uh, uh, skydexstreams.com. We're going to be using one of their relay servers, and we're going we're gonna to connect to their party stream, which is a free stream. So if anybody at any time wants to participate with audio streaming, it's very easy and you're always welcome to use that party stream. So what we're going to do is, uh, I'm, I'm on a PC, so I'm going to go to winamp.com. And uh, and there's also a tutorial on my on the website skydextremes.com. Just click tutorial, and here you go, free download right there. So uh, what we're gonna do is just go download, and you can get the free full free right there. You can get the bonus stuff, or you can get the pro stuff, and and if you want the email announcements, click download. Boom, done deal. It pops up. There you go. Uh, what I usually do, I'm going to use version 2.95 because it's an older version and it's totally awesome and I love it. And we're just going to get uh, get rid of the that thing and install to whatever directory you want. Done deal. Get rid of all these things because I'm super anal. So connection done deal. Uh, do, 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 do. Just keep hitting next. Blah blah blah. Run Winamp. There we go. Okay, and there we go. There's our Winamp. So what we're gonna do now? Let's get rid of the EQ, and uh, we'll put that right in the middle there. Um, now what we're gonna do is go and get the Shoutcast DSP plugin for Winamp, and that's how you get it streaming. So we can just go to shoutcast.com and then uh, let's see, we can uh, download or be a DJ and uh, we're going to want to be a DJ uh, even though we're not going to be DJing really. But uh, here we go, Shoutcast Radio DSP plugin for Windows right there, boom, hit it. Alright, and it takes you to a little more info here. Oh. Yeah. There it is, number two. Download the DSP available here. Boom, done deal. So I already got it downloaded. So let's install it. Yes, source DSP and the crossfade plugin. Yes, we do. We want to do that. Do we want to read me? No. So it's it just installed. Now what we're gonna want to do is right click on Winamp, go to your options, preferences, and in here is where you get to set all your uh, settings. So what we're gonna do, we wanna basically load in a bunch of tunes which I'll do right now. Um, go to my audio, mp3s, jvd, and we'll play some tunes off of my uh, recent gig. There we go. And maybe somebody out there will be digging that stuff. Um, so, what we're going to do, I don't see the crossfade plugin. Let me try and reload this one more time. And, again, uh, right click, options, preferences, they're there. Okay, now they're loaded. So now in the output under plugins, you can see their direct sound output. If I didn't want to, to like crossfade tracks, just use your direct sound output. But I'm going to want to crossfade tracks. And then on here, um, you can do like no gaps between songs, uh, select which um, output sound card you want to use if you have multiple sound cards. If you do like Skype uh, interviews and stuff, you'll probably want to have two sound cards with a mixing board, stuff like that. So let's get a tune playing here and uh, consider, there it is, okay. I think that's the, uh, that's the party stream going on there. So uh, let's, uh, Let's go to the, our DSP now. Um, now that we got our tunes lined up and we got our output lined up, we're going to we're gonna go to under plugins. It's the DSP effect, and the only thing you see in there is Shoutcast DSP source 
Uh, just click that and it opens up the shoutcast source code. So, what we can do now is there's four tabs up here. Um, let's set the input, okay? If, uh, if you have it on Winamp mode, it's going to stream directly out of Winamp. Just like the same data that is, is being played in Winamp is going to be sent directly out with no other interference. But you have the sound card input selection. So uh, it's really cool because that way you can hook up like an external mixer uh, or just use your microphone input. Okay, so we're going to go to the next tab, encoder, here. And we want to use the MP3 encoder and select maybe a pretty decent bit rate. Uh, I think the party stream is defaulted to 96 kilohertz stereo, so let's just select that one. So there's our encoder one, done deal. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put this on Winamp mode really quick in the input, and then we're going to go to, let's go to output here. So party stream uh, is on party.skydeckstreams.com. That's the address, and that's also the same address for the player page. And here we go, let's do 90. 32 is the port, and if you're ever interested in doing this, I can give you all the information, but yeah, party.skydextreams.com, port 9032, and then the password. Okay, we got a tune cranking, and then we just hit connect. There it is. Okay, so if you see the numbers flipping out, flying by, uh, it's connected. And now you can go to the main tab and you can see um, your audio levels. Now if the audio level goes above zero, then you're going to be clipping out. So, um, you know, you don't want to like run it too high. Um, so now that's probably cranking on the party stream. It, uh, it has to wait for the previous song to uh, stop and then it'll crossfade. So there it is right there, it just crossfaded. So now we're live on the party stream. It's awesome, it's in Winamp mode. But we're gonna go to uh, line in mode and actually talk live over the stream. So usually I have my big mixer hooked up and I can take call-ins and it's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a hoot, it's fun. Let's go live, are we live? Check one, two, hello, we're live from Boulder, Colorado. Checking out skydeckstreams.com party stream. This is the bomb, bro. So cool. That should stream over. Let's check it out. I'm going to put it back in Winamp mode for a sec here and let's see if it takes a little while to buffer. But let's see if it works. And if you go to the player page, you'll also see the link up here. You can put that right into your favorite media player or click it to see status. There we go. Check out Skydeckstreams.com party stream. This is the bomb, bro. There it is. There it goes. So I put it back in Winamp mode, and it, the data just gets directly fed right through. So, like, sometimes if I'm taking a break live, I'll put it on Winamp mode. So, if I'm still talking over the headphones, you know, people on the stream don't hear it. And uh, you don't have to worry about this server ever stopping because uh, it'll just keep going so we can disconnect as soon as we disconnect from the server it's gonna start running the playlist uh, play the previous playlist that it was playing off the server so you don't have to worry about that you can close that once you close your Winamp it should save the settings yeah they're party.skydextremes.com all the settings should save this thing might not be saved in the exact spot, but no big deal. Um, so that's it. We just went live on the party stream. So if you feel like uh, participating at all, uh, just check out skydexstreams.com. There's uh, tutorials and info on there about how you can participate. And also in Second Life, it's optimized for Second Life. So if you're in Second Life, uh, you can search for the Skydeck or uh, just go to the home page and click teleport and come party down. Cool. Hope you liked the tutorial and we'll see you later.